Folks are getting their W-2 forms, prompting many to get on with the job of filing their taxes. And it is important when you think about doing that to consider how you do that. I've got Kelly Trevino here, Regional Director of the Better Business Bureau. Uh, what are some ideas for folks if they're going to actually be looking for a tax professional? Well, remember, there's 155 million other people filing with the IRS. These are just individual returns. Uh, so there's a lot of complaints that go along with that. We had mm -hmm. around 2200 last year with mm -hmm. BBB. So it's really important that you're careful with who you give that information to. These are social security numbers for you and your family. And you don't want to risk identity theft being no. a part of this, this process. And this is a big part of it. So you have to be careful. You have to do some research uh, before you actually start to prepare your taxes. Now you were talking to me earlier and you said get referrals. What does that mean? Uh, well, this is where you use those free resources. Use the resources at BBB.org. Absolutely free. Find out what the business profile is of that tax preparation service. And also ask your friends. Uh, a simple how did they do on your taxes can really save you in the long run. All right. Check registrations. You're talking about for the preparer, right? Yes, all tax preparers must be registered with the IRS. They need a PTIN number. It's an ID number. Ask for that. A, a qualified tax preparer is not going to mind you asking that and, question. And if they don't have it? If they don't have it, do not do <laughs> run? taxes with them. <laughs> Uh, you, you mentioned that this goes along with that, looking for credentials, making sure this person's qualified, right? You know, just like in any profession, there's some qualifications that are stronger than others. They have more training. So when you look at an enrolled agent, a CPA or an attorney, they can represent you unlimited uh, to the IRS in all matters. Whereas another tax preparer may only help you with simple forms or simple things with the IRS. And remember, if they didn't prepare your taxes, they can't help you with the IRS at all. And if I get called to the IRS, I want somebody going you want with someone. me. Very quickly here, watch for the folks who make the inflated promises. If they're making you a promise that they can get you a better refund than the competition or they're basing their fee on your refund, you need to steer clear of this. Be wary of that. And again, check those resources. Yeah, again, too good to be true. Too good. Probably is. Hey, <laughs> if you've got a question about this or any other topic, go ahead and ask Kelly. You can do that by contacting her at ktrevino at corpuschristi.bbb.org. She's got lots of resources and would love to be able to use those to help you. Kelly, thanks so much for the information. Stay Always warm. appreciate it. <laughs>